Seventh grade science crew. Everybody, happy Tuesday and we're going to be talking about the atmosphere today and the different layers of the atmosphere and what happens in them and why it's so important for survival on earth. So the first layer of the atmosphere that we're going to talk about is called the troposphere. The troposphere is the one that's closest to earth. So it's that very first layer. This is the layer we live in guys. We live in the troposphere weather happens in the troposphere and planes fly through the troposphere. That next layer of the atmosphere that we're going to talk about is called the stratosphere. The stratosphere is located above our clouds. So once you push up and you go higher into the atmosphere, you enter into the stratosphere. This is where meteorologists, meteorologists are scientists who study weather. This is where they send weather balloons and they send these weather balloons high up in the atmosphere to get information about clouds and how they form storms and how quickly they happen and how long they're going to last. So this is that, um, the layer that you're going to get a lot of information about weather and storms from. The next layer up is called the mesosphere. This is kind of like a force field. Um, if you were to ever watch Star Trek or if you were to ever see any type of sci-fi movie, whenever they tell them to put a force field around their ship to protect them, the mesosphere kind of acts as a force field surrounding Earth. In this force field, when you see a shooting star or a meteor shower. This is the layer in which those things burn up in. So that flash of light that you see when you're looking for a shooting star is actually a meteor burning up in the mesosphere. So that mesosphere level is gonna protect us on Earth from things that might come like asteroids or meteors or things like that coming from space. And then the um, next level is called the thermosphere. Now this is like we're heading into space in the thermosphere. The thermosphere is very, very thin air. You would not be able to breathe in the thermosphere. If you were to come out of a ship and not have on some sort of oxygen helmet, you would not survive in the mesosphere because the air is so, so thin. So the mesosphere ha has very, very thin air in it. And then that takes us to the most outer layer, the exosphere, which is essentially an outer space. This is the outermost layer of Earth or layer of the atmosphere. And this is like that very first thing that, they, that we go in whenever um, anything's coming to Earth. So if a meteor comes to Earth, it passes through the exosphere and the mesosphere because they're very thin, thin layers. Now. Some things that you need to know about the atmosphere as a whole is that the atmosphere is primarily made up of nitrogen gas. So nitrogen gas is the highest amount of gas that you have in the atmosphere. Then there's about 2% of the atmosphere that's made up of oxygen. And then the smallest, smallest percentage is made up of other different types of gases. So our atmosphere's purpose is a few things, right? The atmosphere traps oxygen on earth. That's why you and I can breathe. I can do that thanks to the atmosphere. So the atmosphere protects our oxygen. Also, it allows us to be protected from the radiation of the sun. We have the ozone layer and the ozone layer is located um, kind of in between the mesosphere and the thermosphere. And what the ozone layer does is it filters out 
harmful radiation heat waves that come from the sun. So it's kind of like the earth has a natural sunblock and that natural sunblock is our ozone layer. So we have all of these different layers of the atmosphere and when it boils down to it, it protects us. It keeps us safe. It keeps us our gravity here on earth. In addition to that, it allows us to breathe oxygen. The highest amount of gas that we have in the atmosphere is nitrogen and the smallest amount is going to be other and mixed gases. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's lesson and learned a little bit more about the atmosphere. Um, have a wonderful, beautiful day. Welcome to my vlog. It's your girl, Miss B E E E E. And we are here talking about the atmosphere today. How many layers in the atmosphere? Oh my gosh, my hair cannot survive in most of these layers, guys. It just really, really messes my hair up. It frizzes me up really bad. I like to be in the troposphere because I like to be in the plains, flying to an exotic island or something, you know? Hey, what's it called when a high pressure system goes on a vacation? Hmm. I don't know. A hiatus! <laughs> hey, Pearson. Yeah, what's up, cousins? What do you call a sheep with no legs? I don't know what. A cloud. <laughs> disappeared because typically I'm ready in the troposphere but we we seems like we've exited to the exosphere oh no we're what pretty we much in space I have no control ah! <laughs> <laughs> reporting live from channel 4 news it's so windy out here. Um, we have big gusts of wind coming in really quickly. Um, I'm not sure I can do this report any longer. Seventh grade science crew.